Stamper Stampers, Jackie Ball Heist from Clump and Stampers. Today, we're gonna learn a really easy card layout that has a little pizzazz to it, and it's great for using up those scraps of designer series paper. Lots of tips, we're gonna talk about paper cutting, putting the layout together, add any greeting, and you have a card for any occasion. So I'm excited to share this project with you. Let's flip the camera down and let's get stampin'. Okay, the card we're going to make today is a pinwheel card, and they're so fun to make. Honestly, I think they get just a little bit addicting. So I'm excited to share this with you, along with a lot of paper cutting tips, because I get asked a lot where um, people kind of struggle with their paper cutter. So we're really gonna kind of zoom in on that. So we need quite a few parts and pieces, we'll call it. So the first thing we need is two pieces that are two and five eighths. Now don't worry about these exact measurements because you'll be able to grab these over on my website, but I wanna show, we know that four eighths, you can see, let's use a pointer here. So two and a half is the same as four eighths. So we're just gonna go out one more eighth, which in this cutter is two little marks. So we'll go to two and five eighths and cut it. And I've already cut it this way. So we've got two and five eighths. These need to be square. So we're gonna go two and five eighths and two and five eighths. And if I cut them right, they should be the same size. There we go. Now the next thing we need is four pieces of, I'm using designer series paper. Now you could use colored cardstock, you could use embossed colored cardstock, anything you want, but you need four one and a quarter inch squares of one print and four of another print. And you want to make sure that they contrast a lot, okay? That would be too close. It, it just wouldn't look as nice. But you can see we got great contrast here. And that's what I like about designer series paper is most of them have all different prints and some seem to be a little bit more like solid and subdued where this one's got more of a print. So you're gonna wanna just play around to get some good contrast. Now one and a quarter, so I've already cut these one and a quarter, and this time with small cuts like this, I like to use out here to the right, because here is one, okay, and then we can go out to one and a quarter right there, and it makes it real easy to cut. So we need four of these, whoops, four one and a quarter, and let's get one more, so. Normally I don't cut all my cardstock um, on the video, but I thought this would be a really good project to sh just give you some cutting tips so that you see how easy it is, especially with this um, paper trimmer. So we're gonna go over to one and a quarter, and we need four again. And then we're gonna start, be ready to start making our pinwheel. They're so fun. Okay, so four of those, there we go. Now let's set the cutter aside and let me grab my adhesive. So we have four of those, four of those, and our two squares. Now we're gonna adhere these two squares together like so. And because I'm kind of picky about a few things and I like things to try to be as straight as I can, I like to use my grid paper. And I'm going to line up these two, uh, we gotta come down here. Let's make sure I'm staying in the center of my video here. And I'm gonna line up my points on these on the dark lines because then I know it's straight on here. We'll go ahead, we'll put some adhesive on there. And then with the second piece, if as long as I follow some of the lines going vertical or diagonal, I know this one is straight and square as well. Now, I don't worry about exact as far as the height or left to right. I kind of eyeball it so this is all about the same and then we stick it down. So there's the base of our pinwheel. Now what we're gonna do is take one of our squares and we're gonna put just a little bit of adhesive out on that far right side. And you'll see why here in a second. And then we're gonna stick it down. Now that's really important. Oh, it gushed a little bit. Put too much on there. I was yell at Dave on the Funfold videos about that. That's okay, so it covered up. So now I'm lining up here on the point to get an even border. This is why I really like that green glue because I can slide it around. Now next, we're going to take the other print that we have, and this time you can put adhesive on the whole thing. And we're gonna work our way around. So we're gonna stick that down, slide it, even border out there on the tip. And the same thing here. 
and we're just gonna keep sliding sliding these around but you can see now how it's why i said you really want prints or colors if you're using cardstock that um really complement each other but are, are very different because otherwise it just all blends together and, and that's no fun we want these to really have some you know you can see change or i don't know what the right word is they coordinate but they really contrast i guess would be a good term so let's see we're almost all the way around here but like i said this is a great project for using up scraps um you know if you got just some one inch strips laying around a designer series paper now don't forget i will have all these measurements for you over on the blog post and you will find the link to that in the video description. So hop over there, and then I will have pictures of some other pinwheel cards that I made as well. Okay, now, as I put the second to last one on, you can see these match up. Now, for the last one, to get our pinwheel, this is the tricky part. This is why, remember this first piece I told you to only put adhesive over here? This is why, because we need to be able to lift it up so that we can slide in this one so that everything intertwines with each other so we'll slide that in line it up on the top there and now i can kind of bend this around stick some adhesive in there hopefully not too much there we go and glue a little bit gushed <laughs> and glue it down and there is our pinwheel which is going to be the focal point of our card so now the rest of the card is easy peasy i just have a piece of pebbled path and another piece of designer series paper see that's not enough contrast for me so we're gonna go with that side and let's glue this to the front of the card we're keeping it super simple but what's fun about this design any papers work you can make kid cards masculine cards anything grab your papers okay so there is the front of our card and then because everything needs dimensionals right <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and use dimensionals on the back of our pinwheel there we go and then when you stick this on here you could have you know the point going straight up like that or you could have it at an angle whatever either way whatever you feel like doing works great okay so there's our focal point now for our greeting on this we're going to make this a masculine birthday card so i just grabbed happy birthday out of the artistically inked stamp set and i have a scrap here of um what do we got very vanilla now for greetings if i'm gonna do just a strip i like to start with a scrap and stamp right along the edge of it so here's another cutting tip um then what i can do is come back to my trimmer here you know i'm gonna cut right here i can see and i stick it in there and trim it down that makes it a whole lot easier than trying to cut this piece first and then you know trying to stamp on it and i want it to be four inches i'm a little bit longer than that so i can look at it do i want to cut off at this end or that end you know what to try to center happy birthday we're gonna go a little off each end eh, kind of centered close enough <laughs> and then let Let's go ahead and we're going to just stick that down right there like so and that's going to go right on there like i said this is just a cute easy masculine birthday card okay then our pinwheel i always like to put something in the center of it where where all those little pieces match together so these are the um in color dots i forget what these are called what are they um in color dots hey i was right <laughs> and we're just gonna stick that in the middle to finish off our pinwheel and then lastly we just need a piece for the inside um, and for this i did grab a stamp out of the gone fishing which is the set that coordinates with this designer series paper so glad that you're my dad and then we can go ahead and we will just stick this in the inside and our card is done so i hope you liked this 
quick and easy way to make a pinwheel card. Again, check out my blog post. The link is in the video description and I will have pictures of some other examples so you can just see how using different paper, um, you could use colored cardstock. I've used embossed colored cardstock. You could mix and match cardstock and designer series paper. The ideas are endless. So make your pinwheel, add a greeting on it and you have a fun card. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to reach out to us. We are happy to help you in any way we can. So until I stamp again, have a stamp happy day.